It's a cold night in Seattle, but at the very least, the roof will be shut to shield us from some of that. Continuing the road trip with the first of two between the L.A. Dodgers and the Seattle Mariners. It's Interlake Baseball, next on MLB Network. James Paxton, the left-handed Canadian, gets the starting assignment here. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this Leading one here today. Stepping up is Mookie right Betts, here. and we are set for baseball here this yeah. evening. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. And fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Maddie, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game. They scored a bunch of runs. And let's see if they continue that today. Fouled off. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Here's a swing and a ground ball for Seeger down at third. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Time now to check out the lineup for the visiting Dodgers. Nero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Well, Matty, we know this is a pitcher's park. The numbers bear it out. Look for the managers to play a part in this one. Hopefully the guys listened in the hitters meeting. They're going to stay up the middle, big part of the yard. But when they get on, look for some wheels in motion, some execution, trying to manufacture some runs. I think that's how this lineup will play it out. And he'll go after the first offering here, although this looked to be well below the knees. It's strike one. behind 0 and 2 now again he sends it out of play can't get him to chase it's one and two. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Lewis is there, two gone. That is third. The shortstop, Jacob Amaya. And now in the box, Jacob Amaya. Now the first pitch. It's away the 0 1 pitch. Just getting started here in Seattle. Got him swinging in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Dodgers down in order. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. Walker Bueller is on the mound for the Dodgers in this contest. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy wasn't too bad in his last one, Matt. Pitched all the way through the sixth inning. And listen, that's what you ask for nowadays. If you can get your starter to get you through the sixth inning and turn it over to the bullpen, he took the loss in the last one, but he actually pitched pretty well. Now into the box, Dylan Moore. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 
strike taken up in the zone. Dan Dero, you check out this Dodger team as they enter play here tonight. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game. They scored a bunch of runs, and let's see if they continue that today. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Too high. One and two. This is foul right side. The next one two pitch. him up Beatty in foul ground he's got it one away batting second that's shortstop and now a quick look at the Mariners starting lineup in this one who are you focused on Dan Plezak? well I love what Kyle Seager brings to the table for this team he's on a nice stretch that's three home runs in his last 10 games he's swinging the bat really well right now and by watching his mannerisms in the box he just looks comfortable in the plate he's in some kind of a groove one out base is empty and that brings up the shortstop J.P. Crawford lays oh off God. one and oh One out, nobody on. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Yeah, Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the game, I think. Consistent, well respected, accurate strike zone. Uh, D. Bro, you hit it right there. He makes you bring the ball over the plate. We'll give a little bit off the strike zone. I think the one thing that's important that he does, he has the same strike zone in the first inning. You'll see that same strike zone in the ninth. Two and two. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. At the plate, Kyle Lewis. Fouled away. He'll enter play down at an even 240 for the year. Five homers and a dozen RBIs. The windup and the 0 1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Up with it, Smith. And the throw to first ends the inning. He played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. So here's Cody Bellinger. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Cody Bellinger. Here's the pitch. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. A 
little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. He'll try again one two. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Next good. to stand in is DJ good. Peters. DJ First pitch of the AB Peters. on its way. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Got him swinging on the fastball there. DJ Peters is sent packing for route number two in the inning. Matt Beatty is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. One and one to the Dodgers' first baseman. Well hit, but right into the teeth of the shift. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. On now to the bottom of the second. At the plate now is Kyle Seeger, and he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Seeger. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Yep, that ball went out. Popped him up. Smith is there looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Hey let's take a look at the Dodgers on defense and let's take a look at outfielder Mookie Betts. You can make the argument he's the most dynamic player in our sport. Don't try and come inside with a fastball because it's getting turned around. But I don't think people realize how good he patrols the outfield. The ability to play all three positions with speed and a bazooka for an arm. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He'll come into this one at 328. One home run, nine driven in. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. I got one ball, one strike. Up high, two and one now. Got him to swing under that one. It's two and two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Outside and a full count, three and two. Ty France waits on deck. And he fouls this one off. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. That is good. Next to hit is Ty France, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. 0-1 the count. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. 
Next to hit, Jose Marmolejos. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Here's the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Rex gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Mariners leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Here now is Will Smith. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Pitch on the way. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Reined in. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting it. The second baseman, Gavin Lux. Next, here is Gavin Lux. First pitch on its way. Nope, that's a ball. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So next to bat will be Zach Rex. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Now here's the pitch. The Dodgers have yet to break into the hit column here. Oh, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Sky down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move, and he makes the catch in the corner. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Home half of the third coming up. No score. The next batter will be Evan White as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Now the first pitch. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Knuckle curve is off the bottom edge. Two balls and no strikes. Hate to do it, but I've got to question the pitch calling right there. With a guy like this at the plate, you got to attack him with your fastball instead of pitching him like he's a middle of the order power guy. Two balls and a strike to the Mariners' first baseman. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Well, this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often because he's over in the other league, and it's really showing. He's pitching really well right now, and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0 and 2.
swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Smith corrals it, but no chance to get him, and he'll take first after striking out. So they'll slap an error on the catcher there, and you can tell he's not happy back there. Now here's the first offering. Hey, as a former infielder, nothing hurts your heart more than making errors behind your pitchers. Let's see if this guy can pick him up right here. Fouled off. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Ball. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. Strike one to start the at-bat. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And this is why you can't lose focus for a second when you're behind the plate. Any mistake a catcher makes has serious. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires the side. One left for Seattle. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Bounce it, just bounce it. Everybody when to come, I'm announcing it. I'm always going to get it. I'm always going to get it. Even if you yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Now the pitch. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo to expand the zone. And it's quickly 0 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. The next 0 2. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. Now batting. Digging in will be Edwin Rios. And now the first pitch. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Behind 0 and 2 now. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Into the box, Jacob Amaya. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. The wind up and the 0 1. This one's down to third. There is Seeger. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Digging in now for the Mariners, Kyle Lewis struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Maddie. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder.
first pitch of the A.B. on its way. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Now here's the pitch. The count is one and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks and we're just in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Only the first hit of the night, but it was a big one. He absolutely punished that mistake. And you have to wonder if that will open the floodgates a little. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Into this one at 328. One home run, nine driven in. Corey Seager is into the ball game as a defensive replacement. He'll be the new shortstop here. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike. 0 and 2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. He makes the throw to first, two down. So here now is Ty France looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now here's the pitch. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. One run, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Ball one is that one didn't really threaten the inside corner. Popped him up. Seeger has a play. And that will end the inning. One for the Mariners in the inning, and it comes on the strength of this solo home run. We're through four. It's one nothing Seattle. Welcome back to T-Mobile Park in Seattle as we send it down to Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. All right, Heidi, thank you. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Bellinger is retired, and there's one away. Now to the plate is the Dodgers' designated hitter, D.J. Peters. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And that swung on.
missed for strike one. A.J. Pollock steps into the on-deck circle now looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. Fouled away. And another foul ball. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Now batting. Matt the Beatty stepping in, trying to avoid Beatty. becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Ball one, well below the zone. Here's a fastball low, and he's behind 2 and 0. The rest of the lineup could learn a thing or two from this at bat. This guy's been really patient. Now he's in the driver's seat, sitting with a 2 0 count. Down low, and the plot thickens here 3 and 0. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. Swinging on 3 and 0. Now three balls and a strike. No runs, no hits, and two errors thus far on the Dodger line score. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Seared down the first baseline, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Stepping in once again is Jose Marmolejos as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Right side, but it's well foul. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. He's around first, heading for two. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Into the box now, Evan White. A ball and no strikes. Struck out in his first at bat. A ball and a strike now. A runner at second, nobody out. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. To short, hit hard. Scooped up. And that's out number one. The catcher number two. John Murphy. Next to dig in, Tom Murphy. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Nope. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. Runner at second here with one man out. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two. 
into center field line drive base hit. And the run will score from second to make this a two nothing ball game. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulder square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. Standing in now, Dylan Moore, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Little chopper back to the mound. To second for one, and nearly a double play. That was closer than I thought it would be, and the inning will continue. Definitely a risky and aggressive play for the pitcher there, but he made it work out. They practice plays like that a lot in spring training, so it paid off this time. No balls in one strike. Moore is off of first with two away. Runners off for second. Pitch misses the throw down. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Two balls, one strike. That one doesn't even sniff the zone, missing very high. I'm seeing him aim the ball right now. That's a trap you fall into as a pitcher when you're not as confident in your stuff as you should be. You gotta trust your stuff. And it's fouled away. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Count still full, three and two. And that misses ball four so it's first and second now with two out up next Kyle Lewis no hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game oh, a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat it's 0 and 1 he's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing he has just got to find a way to zone and we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. M's pick up a run on two hits. Still a big bagel in that hit column, and this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feel. When you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. The batter number nine, second baseman. Ready to Gavin. deal. Here comes the first Lux. pitch. Gavin Lux swings and misses there, so he's down 0 1. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Fouled off. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Now batting. And now here is Zach Rex. Flew out in his only at bat so far. And now the first pitch. 0-1 the count. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Fouled away. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through. Now to the plate, Kyle Seeger blasted a soul. 
third baseman, Kyle Seager. Joe Kelly enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. From the stretch. And he lays off there 1 and 0. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Kelly has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Now the payoff pitch home. High in the air out to center field. Bellinger's under it. Makes the play, one away. Now back. The right field. So now to the plate, Mitch Henniger struck out in his last trip to the plate. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next for Seattle, Ty France. He struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 so far. Swing and a liner, and that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. This is the type of production they were expecting from this guy when he came to the majors a couple of years back. He looks really at ease at the plate, and that relaxed swing is getting some really good results. Good example on that double there. Always great to see a young player blossoming. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Popped him up. Seeger shading to his right and he makes the catch to retire the side so they can't make anything out of the two out double don't touch that remote more on MLB Network right after this. Here's Mookie Betts. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Way off balance hack that time. Good for the first strike. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player. But in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when his pitcher's missing like he is. Behind 0-2 now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Loud contact by Mookie and a ball carrying well to left field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run there for Mookie. Home run number three here in the early going. And the Dodgers are within a run. It's now two to one. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. So now to the plate, Edwin Rios. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Swing and a line drive. Henniger is there, one away. Now batting, shortstop, Corey Seager. Now the first pitch. As he'll take a look at ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Yeah. 
Swing, line drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And there's your tying run at second base with a one out double. Hey guys, he doubled up on that breaking ball. The batter obviously timed the first one. Second one, he was not going to let go. Good wood on that one, able to drive it for a base hit. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner at second, meaning it'd be a no decision if that run comes across to score. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And as Dodger fans have heard for years, she is out of here. Cody Bellinger puts a pair on the board with that homer. Fourth home run here in the early going, and it's given the Dodgers a 3-2 lead. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches, and this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. In now, A.J. Pollock. As he'll cut on and miss it, a good slider at the knees for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Hit sharply on the ground. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Now batting the first baseman, Matt Beatty. to the plate now Matt Beatty ripped down the first base line but a foul ball here 0 and 1 he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far here's a look over to first and a dive but he's back in there three runs already home here ground ball sent back up the middle and there's his first base hit in this one There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able now to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Domingo Tapia comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Will Smith will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In the dirt here. Throw over to third here. And it's too late as he's in there. So now two men in scoring position. Man, that is such a wasted opportunity. Two on, one out. Perfect situation to induce a grounder and get out of the inning, but instead he's wild and both runners advance, taking the double play situation away. A ball and a strike. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. Fastball called strike, one and two. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. Hit hard on the ground a second, and he will deliver one of the biggest at bats of the night. It's a base hit, and the insurance run comes across to score from third. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to yeah, not baby. only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing room. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a one run game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. The batter will be Gavin Lux. Strike one to start the at bat. Now the 0 1. Hit weakly back to the mound. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Get up and stretch now here in the great Northwest. 
It's the Dodgers four and the Mariners two. And we're back for the bottom of the seventh as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far. He's set. Here it comes. As he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And he won't offer it that too high. One and two. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers and it worked right there. Stepping in now Tom Murphy as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's one for two in this one. And this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at one and one. Seventh inning here at the ballpark four two our score. And it's fouled away. The one two. It's the top of the zone he struck him out looking. Next up, Dylan Moore. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's set and the pitch. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Bellinger is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. One, two, three go the Mariners. They trail it here four to two. Now to bat, Zach Rex. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Woo wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Here's the 1 1. Oh, he ties him up with a fastball inside. 1 and 2. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Mookie Betts will stand in to try it again already with one home run of the ball game and on cue. There it was back in the seventh inning a solo shot that provided quite a spark for these guys. And that'll get on through into center and he's got himself a one out hit. Now that third baseman, Edwin Rio. At the plate, Edwin Rios. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Lifted down the line in left, and that will end up a foul ball. The one two. Betts, base runner at first with one out. To two balls and two strikes now. 
I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get to Chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And it's a foul ball. Another try at 2-2. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And it's gone. So it's a two run shot to right center second home run early in the year as they open it up to six to two now. Yeah and that home run is an absolute backbreaker. You still have some baseball left to play here but with a four run lead it could be a non save situation. So they might get the rest of their close of the rest of the day four runs feels awfully good. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Seager is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead pull guy. You want to try and sneak a piece of cheese in or hang something over the heart of the plate, he's going to absolutely crush it. But anything going away from him goes right into his bat path. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And that's the second out. The center fielder, the Cody Bell. Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger at the plate now and he's coming off a two run homer his last time around first pitch on the way and a check swing here appeal down to third but Matthew Ross says he held up ball one a bouncer up the middle Crawford gloves it throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. It's the Dodgers six and the Mariners two. So stepping in is J.P. Crawford. And to start out the. Yenning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt, and I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Hit out towards second. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Now batter. Into the box now, Kyle Lewis, Lewis. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swings through it for strike number two. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in the zone to induce a ground ball double play. And he wastes a fastball high there, 1 and 2. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. 
What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. No balls in one strike. Runners on first with one down. High in the air out to center field. Bellinger's under it. Two down. Now batting, right fielder, Mitch. Stepping Hanniger. in next, Mitch Hanniger grounded out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. Here's a flip to Seeger covering, and the side is retired. Mariners leave one. They still trail here at 6-2. Brandon Brennan enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now with the plate is A.J. Pollock. A.J. Pollock. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. Seeger has it. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. And this will go down as an E5, as you can see the exasperation on his face. Next up is Matt Beatty. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First offering. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. Set to deliver the 0-1. And he lays off for ball one. And down in the Mariner bullpen, it looks like a right-hander is up to throw. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. First pitch of the AB now. Will Smith is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Before the 0-1, he'll check on first. And a dive, but he's back. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. First delivery to him. Swing and a high chopper over to the right side. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. One left for L.A. 
They lead it six to two. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And standing in is the DH, Ty France. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. The 0 1 on its way. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome. Kenley Jansen enters from the bullpen hoping to get the final two outs and put this one into the win column. So now to the plate Jose Marmolejos and on the first pitch he grounds foul. Bases are empty one man out. Waved at and missed and he's behind 0 and 2. And that is swung on and missed and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well and that one was right there. Into the box Evan White. Hard hit ball to second and that is in there for a two out base knock. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Standing in now, Tom Murphy. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's working on a one for three thus far. Outside for a ball, one and one. White leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Last chance for the Mariners. Still one and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, in a quick series like this, you take the first one, you're guaranteed at least a split. They'll take that every single time. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 to two finish. Los Angeles jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Joe Kelly gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. is our final line score tonight first for the victorious Dodgers six runs eight hits two errors and they left three men on base.